Okay, we're back here with TB's uh, archery series. Fixing to try out this new air I made last night. I just put it together. The one I was talking about that I got out of the fire was just this uh, arrowhead that I burnt off of the the old broken wooden arrow off the dowel. I burnt the peat, cut it off, and burned it off there and sharpened it and reset it up. I'm going to see how it shoots now that it's put together. So there's the box down there. We'll see if I can hit it. We're only probably about 20 feet from it or so. My dad. How did I get dirt in that? The dirt in the mop somehow. Must have dropped it or something. Anyway, here we go. We're going to see how it works. Bear with TB Survivor. Still dropping some. That's what I was saying. The, car, the carbons are lighter than these um, fiberglass areas. But the fiberglass area will work. You just have to kind of angle them a little bit higher because they are going to drop some because they're heavier. And the other thing is, I made the areas a little big back there for them wooden ones first, first try on that, and they are full one inch across and three quarters is probably big enough for deer hunting in Oklahoma so it wouldn't have to be quite that heavy. These shafts are quarter inch and they're lighter. See this one I don't have the plastic sleeve on or the uh, bottom plastic notch so I cut a notch in it for this purpose. That was, I had to cut the notch myself out of the uh, PVC, out of this uh, fiberglass in the end. But it's much better with those buttons. See there, I can stack them all day. Those fiberglass uh, arrows are heavier, but they are good. And with a good heavy bow of 60 pounds or so, it'll push them. It'll push them arrows anyway down there. With this type of bow here, it's like I said, it's a survival bow. It's not a top quality bow. It's just something that to get into archery cheap and inexpensively. It's only, like I say, cost me 25, 30 bucks to make. Not too much. And you can kill deer all day long with that. Or anything. Once you get practice up, I'm blind, so it's hard for me to see at my age, but somebody with good eyes and stuff could probably have no problem bringing in game These are store-bought knocks that, that you can buy and they glue in the, end the tips or you can slide them in these carbons. I glue them in because I don't like losing my knocks and having to buy them. And you can glue them in with super glue or, or archer glue or any kind of glue that will hold. Eight glue holes, but I, like I said, eight glue is kind of bubbly and kind of heavy. It puts a, it puts a uh, heavier weight on there because it bubbles up in the sock, especially on your arrows. That right there will get you some game and it's cheap and inexpensive. No problem to build. Like I said, this is just a PVC bowl made out of nothing but PVC water pipe. I got half inch, three quarter and one inch uh, PVC uh, put together, uh, I put the half inch inside the three quarter and the three quarter inside the one inch. And then I just took and cut my knocks this way and figured out which side I wanted as the belly of the bow, and this is the belly, and this is the back side of the bow. Now it is not a uh, center fire bow by no means, none of them are. Even when you make a wooden one, you won't find a center fire bow. Now there are, there are some PVC bowls that are center fire. And uh, backyard boyer, or bowyer, let me get that straight, bowyer, he had, he had made one that was center fire out of PVC, and that was pretty cool up on YouTube. Not too bad a rig. I, I saw him do it. If you go up there and type in backyard uh, bowyer, uh, he'll come up on his site, and you'll see what I'm talking about. That he's got a center fire bow. Uh, 
PVC boat. Note on archery. I prefer my homemade flathead or broadhead arrows compared to the bulk ones at Walmart's because these don't break up and thin out, and I can use these again. Those little skinny fins, I don't have one of them out here right now. They're okay, they bring down a deer or whatever you're hunting. But that, uh, what I don't like about them, you can't reuse them unless you go back and buy the fins and put in. In there are little razor blades that goes to them. These you can make at home. I did. I don't have anything tied up in this steel. I had found this here galvanized uh, sheet plate, uh, galvanized plate steel, and uh, cut these air heads out of. And I've got. I could probably make probably 20, 30 more of them if I wanted to. I've got enough steel left in the, just the panhandle part of it. In other words, I had a, a piece of flat, flat iron galvanized steel that I cut these areas out of, and it looked like the state of Oklahoma because it had a strip cut out of it. It looked kind of like a panhandle. Well, I cut that panhandle part off, and that's what I made these areas out of. I still got a piece of galvanized flat square sheet of galvanized. I could probably make 500,000 areas out of it if I wanted to. But I probably won't use it for all on arrows, but I could if I needed to. These here are just field points that you buy at Walmart. These are carbon arrows. Much lighter than those uh, fiberglass that I was using. Oh, uh, they're, they're a little better. This part is. But I'm going to rig up a, a deal of some kind. I'm going to do some welding, or not maybe not welding, but uh, forging if I can. And I'm going to put the threads on the homemade arrowhead like I build where you can screw them right on there eventually. I'm going to do that right on the video when I start forging again. Uh, working off my blacksmith forge, I mean. When I start building stuff. And I'm going to forge that stuff together just as soon as I find me some Mule Team 20. Um, uh, that, uh, I'll get my brain, I can't think of the name of Mule Team 20 Borax, I believe it is. If I can find some of it somewhere, I'm going to buy a box of it. It's for uh, soldering the, your metals together. It's like making eye hooks and whatever. Well, I'm wondering if I can do that with these. Only put on these uh, broadheads. What I'm wanting to do is solder thread an old thread boat that's this size. These are probably look like quarter inch or th fine threads whatever size these are for your inserts and build them like this then I could um, take my shafts here or even the 3 8 shaft at least I don't know about these shafts because these are quarter quarter inch but I can get two arrows out of one of these for 249 uh, is what the whole shaft cost and I've gotten two arrows out of th this here one one rod so you can figure about half that, probably about a dollar fifty-five, and in that part of the area just for the shaft. Then you got the—I don't know—I paid three or four dollars for a bunch of these uh, plastic knocks. The um, this here uh, sleeve that I put on there came off from an ink pen. I glued it on there, but these are quarter inch. Now this sleeve will not fit the three H rods or the bigger ones. It won't do it. You'll have to find some place plastic that is a little larger. See, I had to rasp these down so that that pin would slip on there enough to glue it. So you would have a knock on the...